It's 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time here at the Kennedy Space Center in Launch Complex 39B. The Space Launch System and Orion spacecraft on the pad have an update about the uh, troubleshooting plan. It did not work. The second troubleshooting plan to uh, seal a hydrogen leak at an 8-inch line that feeds the propellant into the rocket. The uh, troubleshooting uh, effort, uh, as reported by the hydrogen team, uh, they said they started slowly bringing liquid uh, into the tank, and gradually, as they started to raise that pressure, they saw the leak detector uh, go up, up above 4%. So they've backed it off a little bit, and now are going to look for another plan to try and get this leak to seal. Engineers uh, now headed over to the anomaly loop. Uh, it's a channel where uh, the engineers, the launch um, launch engineers and Boeing engineers, chief engineer, will all be discussing uh, a next plan, a plan C. They've been in some preliminary discussions about it. Um, so they've already kind of talked it a bit, but um, now they're discussing it now. And we'll tune in and find out more. Again, uh, Again, just to recap. A little more than two hours ago, a uh, leak developed in the um, supply side, the eight inch line, liquid hydrogen line, while attempting to slow fill, transfer from slow fill to fast fill, to load hydrogen into this rocket. And we've been going through a number of troubleshooting steps. The first was letting the connection warm up for 30 minutes and then manually starting back a slow fill. The second troubleshooting was pressurizing the line with helium to try to get it to reseat. Neither troubleshooting uh, effort um, was successful. And so now we're uh, awaiting uh, next steps. This is Artemis Launch Control.